Um, frankly, I'm actually very worried now. Um, Dominic Cummings has been a sort of um, st- stand up for democracy that hasn't been seen for a long time. Dominic Cummings' Brexit vote saw a majority of people vote Brexit, and yet in the following years, we just saw campaigners and campaigners against democracy, against the people that Well, no, hang on. Leave. Sorry. So 52% of the country voted to leave the European Union, That's but they didn't, they didn't vote for a no-deal Brexit, did they? Um, well, that could be argued about. They didn't know exactly what they were voting for, and I guess they put the trust in the government to carry out on that. But uh, what I would say is that I'm quite frankly very worried about the future of Brexit, which is something that I support and it was just something that anyone in this country should support if they support democracy at this point. Because even if you didn't support it in 2016, which I fully understand that if, if you didn't, and I have no problem with that, but the fact is, in 2016, a majority of people voted for Brexit, and that means that Brexit has to happen. Well, no, a, a, a slim majority of the people fire. who voted, it's by, far not, by no means the majority of the country. But nonetheless, it, there's, there's really no point in arguing about that. Those are old arguments. No, my why was, why should, it, you know, I'm, I am not a supporter of Brexit. So try and persuade me, what do I have to look forward to after Brexit happens? Why should I support it? You should support democracy. That democracy. I do support democracy. That's that's why I'm not a taking part in a riot parliament. right now. But what what do I have to look forward to after Brexit happens? A ma- the fact that a majority of parliamentarians at the time were a Remainers, and yet the people, the voice of the people, was powerful enough to overturn that and to create Brexit. That if you're I'm, a Remainer, uh, that's what I can tell you. Do you know, I, I think that, that this is based on a, a fundamental misunderstanding of what democracy is, because we vote in members of parliament to represent their constituents. That doesn't mean that our MPs have to do what we tell them. It means that we represent them to look after our best interests based on what they understand. And the idea behind a referendum is one, it, it's, fa- it's famously favoured by fascists and despots. Hitler loved referendums, because if you you present a binary choice to a population who don't understand the minutiae of what they're voting for, it's a really good way to confuse people and seize power. So I don't agree I that don't Brexit was a democratic process, Hitler. but let's let's put that behind us because it's happened and it's going to happen. Reassure me, can, when we leave the European Union, what will Britain be like? Why will it be a good Britain, place to live? Why will it be a better country? Britain will be finally a country able to govern its own laws. Um, for me, what laws can we not govern ourselves now? Um, a lot of laws, for example, religious liberties under the European Union. It's a bit worrying for somebody like me who's religious. And now that Great Britain itself is a f- far more open to religious liberty than many European countries, such as France, which is particularly a secular country, Belgium, which has banned... Well, no, no. In, in France, you have, you have freedom to practice your religion. But there's nothing in the European I, Union that says that we I'm have to do exactly that, what France say, does. In Belgium, which is where the ECJ is based, Mm -hmm. at this moment, kosher um, shrita and and halal is banned in two or out of the three regions in Belgium. And why do you think that the European Union would have imposed that on us? What evidence well, do you have for that? We, I, uh, my, Give me some no evidence. evidence. At this current moment in time, but it makes me feel safer to be part of the United Why are you Kingdom? ringing a national radio station and saying things that you have precisely zero evidence for? I'm not. I do not think I have zero evidence. I'd say it makes me feel. You've asked me what I should be looking forward to, and I'm saying that I feel it safer. So you're looking way. forward to your continued right to practice the religion that you have that always had the right to practice. So you're looking forward to things being the same, but in a lot of tangible that ways that we point. have evidence for an awful continue. lot worse. I right, sure. Continue. Win me over, James, please. Yeah, another point which we have is that we're able to make our own free trade deals, which and therefore make the rules best for our own country citizens. That's another thing. Another thing is that democracy is more accountable because at this present moment in time, we have unelected officials who lead us as opposed to who live very far well, away. Well, speaking of unelected officials, for the past decade or so, Dominic Cummings, who none of us elected, has had a huge hand in really government policy. Point. Why is it an unfair point? Because you, in, in 2019... This country voted for Boris Johnson with the knowledge that his advisor was Dominic Cummings. I didn't know that his advisor was Dominic Cummings until that Channel 4 documentary came out. Well, I did, and I think that we know that... But it's not like the the US, is it, where where there's a deputy... 
Every it, time we vote for Prime Minister, we should be voting for all their advisers. Oh, OK. So so in your utopia, we all know precisely who the advisers are behind the no. closed doors of Westminster. And as well as voting for members of parliament and the prime minister, we should be voting for specific advisers, too. That's no, that's, that's your exactly idea of democracy. Point, which I'm trying to make. I'm okay. trying to make the point that we don't have to do that. And that's impossible to do that. And that's why Dominic Cummings is not elected, but he's an advisor to Boris Johnson. And you knew when you voted Boris Johnson. I didn't vote for Boris Johnson. I I know, but when the majority of people voted for Boris Johnson, they knew that they were going to see whoever his advisors were going to be. Well, and, I, I, I will, I'll throw that open to uh, to anybody who wants to call in and tell me that when they voted for Boris Johnson, they knew that they were voting for Dominic Cummings. If that that's describes you, give, give, that's give, not what I said. Give me, that's it's precisso what you just said, James. You said, said everybody you who voted for... Johnson for Johnson would be able to choose his own advisors. You knew that. Right, when he's chosen to get rid of Dominic Cummings now and, you, and you've said that you're scared by that, but you voted for Boris Johnson and that's his decision. And that, James, is Johnson, democracy. But... Thank you for your call. 